Vanchakalpatarine Vanchakalpatarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We're reading the Krishna book and we're on chapter number 60 entitled Krishna T.C. Shrukmini. So we heard how Lord Krishna teased Rukmini, he told Rukmini, he said, you should go and find another husband, I'm not good enough to be your husband. And at first Rukmini fainted when she thought that Krishna was serious in his speaking. But when she recovered and Lord Krishna was speaking to her and he was telling her that he was only joking with her, then she began to praise Krishna. And she told, she told Lord Krishna, she said to Lord Krishna, actually you're right, that I'm not good enough to be your wife because you're the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So I'm not really good enough to be your wife. And Rukmini began to glorify Lord Krishna in many wonderful ways. So Lord Krishna saw how Rukmini is completely devoted to Krishna and she's very, very chaste and she cannot think of marrying any other man but Krishna. Alright, so we're going we're hearing how Krishna responds after hearing the pure love of Rukmini, Lord Krishna is responding to Rukmini. So Lord Krishna said to Rukmini, he says, Oh my dear, chaste and pious wife, I have tested I've tested your chastity. And I've, I've tested your love for your husband. In other words, Krishna tested her, her love for him. And Lord Krishna said to her, you have passed the examination very successfully. I tried to agitate you by speaking many words which were not true. But I was surprised to see that you didn't get angry at all. 
แต่คะรู้สึกแปลกใจมากที่เห็นว่าเธอเนี่ยไม่มีความโกรธเลยอัน You were completely devoted to me. So Krishna says, "My dear wife, I am the best. I give all benedictions. I I bestow benedictions on everyone." And I can give liberation. I can even give you liberation from the material world. And I can I can stop the I can stop you having to take birth in the material world, and I can take you out of the material world and take you to the spiritual world back to Godhead. ออกจากโลกวัตถุนี้แล้วก็ไปที่โลกทิพย์ได้ People who are devoted to some people are devoted to me and they worship me to get some material benefit บางคนเนี่ยก็มีการพิตนต่อค่าบูชาค่าด้วยโดยการหวังผลบางประการ They want to keep themselves. They want to keep themselves in the in the in the world of material happiness. And the biggest pleasure in the material world is the sex life. But people who are, who do some penance and austerities, they want to. They, they want to. They, some people will do a penances and austerities just to get this kind of material happiness. But who who have some penance and austerities just to get this kind of material happiness. So people who want that kind of happiness, the happiness of mundane sex life, then they're certainly an illusion. The. The. People who are engaged in my devotional service, simply for material gain and sense gratification. Are full, very foolish. The happiness of sex life is available in all, even the disgusting species of life, even like the pigs and the dogs. ความสุขทางวัตถุเนี่ยมันมีอยู่ในพื้นฐานชีวิตเพศสัมพันธ์เนี่ยมันมีอยู่ในทุกเผ่าพันธุ์ชีวิตที่น่ารังเกียจที่สุดก็ยังมีมันมีในทุกทุกชทุกชนิด So if people come to Krishna for that thing for things like that then they're really stupid ถ้าเราทำบุคคลเนี่ยมาหาคริสต์นาเพื่อสิ่งเหล่านี้เราเป็นมันเป็นความโง่เขลา Because that happiness is there even in the most hellish conditions of life. So it's better for people who are simply, if they simply want material happiness, and they don't really want Krishna. It's better for them to remain in that hellish condition. But if the person is not looking for the happiness of Krishna, but is still trying to find the happiness of Krishna, he should stay in the hellish condition, in the hellish condition. 
material can the material energy is contaminating it's very powerful and it contaminates everyone it makes them work very hard day and night to try to get happiness so the, if some people they make a show they make a show of religion austerity penance uh, humanitarianism philanthropy politics science everything is aimed at just to get some material benefit เพราะว่าบางคนที่แบบว่ามีมนต์ทินทางวัตถุที่แข็งแกร่งมากเนี่ยก็คือเอ่อเขาจะทํางานทั้งวันทั้งคืนเพื่อความสุขนั้นถึ
Just like women whose hearts are full of material desires, then they will have different thoughts of sense gratification. But outwardly, externally, they will always show themselves to be great devotees. But in their heart, they have strong material desires. So Krishna says to Rukmini, my dear wife, although I have thousands of wives, I do not think that any one of them can love me more than you. And the proof, the proof of your love is that you had never seen me before our marriage. Is everybody muted, Archana? Yes, Arjuna. Okay. So, Krishna says to Rukmini, you had only heard about me from a third person, that was from Narada Muni. But still, you had faith in me. And then, in the presence, but there were so many rich and handsome men from the royal families, but you didn't select any of them for your husband. But instead, you, all, you only wanted to have me for your husband. And you, you didn't take, you didn't worry about any of those princes who had come who wanted to marry you. And you sent me a letter secretly. You sent me a letter telling me to come and kidnap you. And when I when I came to kidnap you. Your big, your elder brother Rukmi, he he tried to fight with me, to stop me. And Krishna says, I defeated him, and then I also disfigured his body. And then later, at the time of Aniruddha's marriage, we were all playing chess. And then there was another fight with your brother Rukmi. And at that time, my Krishna says, my elder brother Balaram, he killed your brother, your brother Rukmi. And Krishna said, I saw, I saw at that time, I was surprised to see you did not even say a word to protest about the incident. You didn't say anything because you were so much anxiety that you might be separated from me. 
เออเนี่ยกลัวจนไม่พูดอะไรเลยเพราะเนี่ยกลัวว่าจะต้องโดนแบบว่าแยกทางกับข้า So you suffered the pain of seeing your brother killed, and you didn't say even a word. So Krishna says to Rukmini, because of your silence at that time, you have purchased me. And you have purchased me for all time. I have come eternally under your control. You had sent a Brahmana messenger, telling me to come and kidnap you. เออเนี่ยได้ส่งสารมาเชิญข้าด้วยพรามเนี่ยบอกให้ข้ามารับพาตัวเจ้า And at one point we were, there was a little delay there was a little delay in my coming there แล้วก็แต่แล้วก็มีการแบบว่าลาชานิดหนึ่งในการมาของข้า So at that time Rukmini you saw the whole world is vacant แล้วก็ตอนนั้นเนี่ยเธอก็เห็นว่าทั้งโลกเนี่ยทั้งโลกเนี่ยมันแบบว่าไม่เหมาะที่ผู้ใครจะผู้ใดจะต้องแตะต้อง At that time you decided that your beautiful body was not fit to be touched by anyone else ตอนนั้นเนี่ยค่ะถ้าเธอเนี่ยรู้สึกว่าทั้งโลกเนี่ยมันว่างเปล่าแล้วเธอก็สรุปว่าร่างกายที่งด And you thought I was not coming because I was delayed. You thought I was not going to come, so you were, you had decided to commit suicide. And when she thought that she would not come, she was thinking that she would kill herself in order to end her life. And you were ready to end your life. So. Krishna says to Rukmini, "Oh, you have such great and pure love for me, and I will always remain with you." And Krishna said, "It's not in my power to repay you." For your pure devotion to me. So Krishna does not have any business being anyone's husband or son or father, because everything belongs to him. ไม่ต้องมานั่งคอยเป็นสามีของใครเป็นบุตรของใครเหลือเป็นบิดาของใครเพราะว่าทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างเป็นของพระองค์ Everything belongs to him and everyone is under his control ทุกอย่างเนี่ยเป็นของพระองค์แล้วก็ทุกสิ่งมีชีวิตทุกอย่างอยู่ภายใต้การควบคุมของพระองค์ He does not need anyone's help for his satisfaction ทรงไม่มีความจำเป็นที่จะต้องให้ใครมาช่วยเพื่อให้พระองค์ทรงได้รับความพึงพอใจ He is he is atmarama he self he satisfied in the self พระองค์เนี่ยทรงเป็นอัตมารามะคือมีความพึงพอใจในตัวนี้ So he can get all pleasure by himself without anyone's help การพระองค์ทรงสามารถที่จะได้รับความสุขทั้งหมดด้วยตัวพระองค์เองได้โดยที่ไม่ต้องการความช่วยเหลือจากใคร But when when Krishna comes to play the part of a human being, he plays the role like a husband, like a son, like a friend or enemy, and he will do it perfectly. แต่ว่าตอนนี้ก็ใช่ทรงแสดงลงมาเนี่ยพระองค์ก็ทรงมา
แสดงอตอนนี้พระองค์ทรงแสดงเหมือนกับมนุษย์เนี่ยท่านก็ทรงเป็นรับบทเป็นสามีเป็นบุตรเป็นเพื่อนหรือว่าเป็นศัตรู So when he was playing the perfect husband of all the queens, especially of Rukmini, he enjoyed conjugal love in perfection. So according to the Vedic culture, uh, in the Vedic culture, polygamy, meaning having more than one wife, is allowed. Um, วัฒนธรรมประเวทแล้วเนี่ยแม้อนุญาตให้มีภรรยาได้หลายคน But none of the wives should be badly treated. They all have to be taken care of. แต่ไม่ควรมีภรรยาคนไหนเลยที่แบบว่าไม่ได้รับการดูแลอย่างดีคือทุกคนควรได้รับการดูแลอย่างดีเท่ากัน So you can a person can have a man can have many wives if he is able to satisfy all of them equally. ก็บอสรุว่าคือผู้ชายเนี่ยสามารถมีภรรยาได้หลายคนถ้าเกิดว่าเขาเนี่ยสามารถให้ความพึงพอใจ And if you can't take care of all the wives equally, then it's not allowed to have them all as your wife. So Lord Krishna is the te the the teacher of the world, even though he has no need for a wife, he expanded himself. Into so many forms, as he had wives. แล้วนั่นเนี่ยเพื่อที่จะสอนตรงนี้ให้กับมนุษยชาติเนี่ยกฤษณาก็ทรงรับบทเป็นสามีแล้วก็ทรงแบ่งภาพแล้วก็เป็นสามีของหลายๆคน And he lived with all of his wives like an ideal householder, who followed all the regulated principles. Yeah, he followed all the rules and regulations under the Vedic instructions and the social laws and customs. ก็ทรงอยู่ด้วยกันกับทุกคนแล้วก็ทรงปฏิบัติตามกฎหลักธรรมกฎเกณฑ์แล้วก็ข้อปลูกพันตามหลักคำสอนของพระเวทรวมทั้งกฎหมายและประเพณีทางสังคมต่างๆ And Krishna had sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives. พระกษัตริย์ก็ทรงมีหนึ่งหมื่นหกพันหนึ่งร้อยกับแปดองค์ So he kept many different. He had many many. He had palaces for each queen. And different houses, everything for each of the queens. So although Krishna is one person, he expanded himself sixteen thousand one hundred eight times to be with each queen. ถึงแม้ว่ากระชานจะเป็นเพียงหนึ่งแต่ทรงสามารถแบ่งภาพของพระองค์ออกเป็นหนึ่งหมื่นหกพันหนึ่งร้อยแปดรูปได้ And in this way he showed all of us what is ideal householder life. แต่ในลักษณะนี้เนี่ยพระองค์ก็ทรงเป็นตัวอย่างให้เราดูว่าชีวิตคฤหาสน์เนี่ยที่สมบูรณ์แบบมันจะต้องเป็นอย่างไร So this is the end of chapter sixty. So we'll go on to chapter sixty-one, which is about Krishna's family, Krishna's genealogy. แล้วก็อ่านกันต่อในบทที่หกสิบเอ็ดชื่อบทว่าเกี่ยวกับตารางวงวานของราชวงศ์ของคริสต์นา
So Krishna had 16,108 wives, and in each of them he had, he, he had 10 sons, all of them equal to their father. And they were equal to their father in their strength, in their beauty, in their wisdom, in their fame, in their wealth, and their renunciation. So there's a saying we have, we say, like father, like son. So the father had all these qualities, so his sons also had these qualities. And all of Krishna's 16,108 wives, they were all princesses. And each, each of Krishna's wives they thought that Krishna was always living with them in their palace and did not leave the home. And so each of the wives, they thought Krishna is very attached to me, and that he's, he does not go away from me, he just stays in our palace all the time. Every wife was thinking Krishna is her very obedient husband. But actually Krishna wasn't attached to any of them. But each wife thought that she was the only wife of Krishna and was very dear to Krishna. And Lord Krishna, he is, he, he, he's self-sufficient, he's Atmarama, so he doesn't need anything. So he didn't have any good feeling, attraction, and he didn't have any bad feelings either. He was equal to all of his wives. And, and he dealt with each wife, he treated each wife just like a perfect husband would act, just to please the wife. Actually, for Krishna, he didn't even need a wife, he didn't need, need even one wife. But these women, because they're ladies, they couldn't understand the position of Lord Krishna, or they, they couldn't understand the actual truth about Lord Krishna. And all of these princesses who were Krishna's wives, they were all very, very beautiful. And all of Krishna's wives, they were very attracted by Krishna's eyes. 
และภรรยาทุกคนของกระชาเนี่ยก็หลงไหลกระชาไปด้วยดวงตาของพระองค์ Because Krishna has very beautiful lotus petal-like eyes. And Krishna's beautiful face, and his long arms, and his beautiful ears, and his beautiful smile. And Krishna, when he talks, he can be very humorous, and he can use very sweet words. And Krishna, ชอบพูดตลกแล้วก็ใช้คำพูดที่หวานชื่นใจ So each of Krishna's queens, they would always dress themselves very attractively, and try to attract Krishna by their beauty. มาเฮสีของกระชาเนี่ยต่างก็ชอบแบบว่าแต่งตัวแบบดีสุภาพเพื่อให้เพื่อดึงดูดกระชนา And they showed their bodily, you know, the the woman, the body of the woman is very beautiful. So Krishna's what queens, each of them had a very beautiful body. แล้วก็มาเฮสีของกระชาเนี่ยก็มีพระวรกายที่สมส่วนแล้วสง่างามมากมา And they could move. They 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 moved very charmingly. They would smile very nicely. มาการเคลื่อนไหวของพวกนางเนี่ยก็มีเสน่ห์มากมากแล้วรอยยิ้มเนี่ยก็สวยมากมา And their eyebrows were like arrows of love. Just to awaken Krishna's lusty desires. แล้วก็คิ้วของพวกเขาเนี่ยก็เป็นเหมือนกับลูกศรแห่งความรักเพื่อปลุกเราให้กฤษณาเกิดราคา But although they tried, they couldn't. They couldn't agitate Krishna, and Krishna's mind remained always peaceful. He never became sexually agitated. แต่ถึงกระนั้นเนี่ยพวกนางก็ไม่สามารถที่จะปลุกเร้าจิตใจของกฤษณาได้เพราะกฤษณาทรงมีความนิ่งสงบและเสมอภาคกับทุกสถานการณ์ And this means that Krishna never had any sex with any of his many wives except to beget children. นั่นก็หมายความว่ากฤษณาเนี่ยทรงไม่มีเพศสัมพันธ์กับภรรยาของพระองค์องค์ไหนเลยนอกจากเพื่อเป็นการกระทำไปเพื่อการมีบุตร So that's a real brahmachari. Krishna is the real brahmachari. He's the greatest brahmachari. อันนั้นเรียกว่า brahmachari. กฤษณ์เนี่ยทรงเป็น brahmachari ผู้ยิ่งใหญ่ Krishna is never agitated, even though he lives with so many beautiful women. กฤษณาไม่เคยที่จะต้องการอะไรแบบนั้นเลยถึงแม้ว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงอาศัยอยู่กับผู้หญิงที่สวยมากมาก So these queens of Dwarka, they were so lucky to get Krishna as their husband. ราชินีที่ดวารกายพวกเขาจะพวกเขาโชคดีมากมากที่มีกฤษณาเป็นสามี And They got Krishna also as their companion, their personal companion. Even great demigods like Lord Brahma cannot even approach Lord Krishna. But Lord Krishna. And his queens, they would remain together, just like husband and wife. Krishna was the ideal husband, and he treated his wives such a way that there was all, at every moment there was increase of bliss in their love for Krishna. <laughs> สามีภรรยาแล้วก็กฤษณาเนี่ยก็เป็น
าผู้ที่แบบดีเลิศแล้วก็พวกนั้นก็มีความคลื่นปิติสุขความสุขนั้นเนี่ยมันเพิ่มพูนขึ้นอยู่ทุกนาที And each and every wife of Lord Krishna had hundreds and thousands of maid servants. But when Krishna would enter the palace of all of his different wives. You remember, he has sixteen thousand wives. So each palace, Krishna would enter at the same time. Then each one of them used to receive Krishna personally. And each palace, they would receive Krishna. They would worship Krishna. With all the paraphernalia, they would sit Krishna in a beautiful seat and offer all the different articles for his worship. They would offer him b e t o n u t s and they would massage his legs to make sure he wasn't too tired. And they would they would fan Krishna to make to keep him comfortable and cool. And they would bring different things like sandalwood pulp oils and incense, and put flower garlands on his neck. And dress him. Ah, will be a t h a i Ah, a a n t h a i h a t a n a a h a t a n t a n a a i a n t h a i a n a a i a n a a h a i a n t h a i a n a a i a n t a i a n t h a i a n a a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t h a i a n t So in this way, they were always serving Krishna every every moment. And especially when Krishna would eat, they would bring many nice dishes and they make many many nice preparations to offer to Krishna. So Krishna had sixteen thousand one hundred one hundred eight queens, and each of them had ten sons. Krishna had Mahesi, had one thousand one hundred six hundred one hundred eight kings together. And with each king, Krishna had one thousand ten kings. So there's a list of the. Sons of the first eight queens. Yeah. So, from Rukmini, Krishna had ten sons, and their names were Prajumna, Charudeshna, Sudeshna. Charu Deha, Sucharu, Charu Gupta, Badra Charu, Charu Chandra, Vicharu, and Charu. Okay. Ah, the องค์แรกเนี่ยเป็นบุตรของรูปมินีก็คือเอ่อ Should I say the name also, g u m a s h Well, if you have the names here, if you can. Okay. โอเคสิบองค์นะคะที่มีที่เป็นลูกของรูปมินีเนี่ยมีประดุมนะคารูเดชนะแล้วก็สุเดชนะชารูเดหะสุชารูชารุกุปตาบาดาชารูชารุชันดรัจวิชารูและชารู So none of them 
were inferior in their qualities to their father, Lord Krishna. So that was the names of the ten sons of Rukmini. Now Sanchabama, she also had ten sons, and their names are given also. Banu, Subanu, Swarbanu, Prabhanu, Bamuman, Chandrabanu, Brihadbanu, Atibanu, Sribanu, and Pratibanu. ชื่อบุตรมีดังต่อไปนี้ชื่อว่าบานุสุบานุสวรบานุพระบานุบานุมามอตันตราบานุบริหัตบานุอธิบานุ And then the next queen was Jambavati and she also had 10 sons first one was Samba So their names of the ten sons of Jambavati were Samba, Sumitra, Purujit, Shatajit, Sahastajit, Vijay, Chitraketu, Vasuman, Dravida, And Kratu. Ah, Sumitra, Puru, Chit, Shatachit, Sahash, Drachit, Vijay, Vijaya, Shitra, K2, Vasud, Mam, Dravida, Laga, Kratu. And it said, Lord Krishna was very fond to the ten sons of Jambavati. And then the next, the ten sons Lord Krishna had by his wife Satya, who was the daughter of King Nagnajit. So their ten sons were called Veera, Chandra, Ashwasena, Chitragu, Vegavan, Vrisha, Ama, Shanku, Vasu, and Kunti. Chitraku, Vegavan, Vrisha, Ama, Shanku, Vasu, Kunti. And among all of them, Kunti was very powerful. And Krishna's ten sons by Kalindi were Their names were Shruta, Kavi, Vrisha, Veera, Subahu, Badra, Shanti, Dasya, Purnamasa, and Somaka, the youngest son. Laga Bhuttimi Ganang, Raminamot Sip Bhutti Shiva, Mishiva, Sharuta, Anibhutka. Kalindi, Mishi dan Kapani wa Shiruta Kavi Vrish Sha Vira Subahu Bhatra Shanti Darsha Purnamasa Penkonlek Sutjiva Somaka. The ten sons Krishna begot and his next wife Lakshmana. The daughter of the king of Madras province 
were named Pragosh, Gatravan, Simha, Bala, Prabala, Urdaga, Ur, Mahasakti, Saha, Oja, and Aparajit. แล้วก็มเหสีองค์ต่อไปลักษมณะพิดาของกษัตริย์แห่งเมืองมัดระมีโอรสสิบองค์คือพระโกชากันดารวาหิมสะไอซิมหาสะซิมหาบาลาประบ
So Krishna was going to kill him, but Rukmini came and interfered, and Rukmini said, Please don't kill him, he's my brother. So since that time, Rukmi always had a bad feeling towards Krishna, and he was always trying to get revenge. But still, even though he had the bad feeling towards Krishna, he allowed his daughter to get married to Krishna's son. And Krishna's grandson also married Rukmi's granddaughter. So this was a little surprising to Maharaj Pariksit when he heard. So the king said to Maharaj Parikshit, he said, no, the king said to Sukadeva Goswami, he said, I'm surprised that Rukmi, Rukmi and Krishna, who were enemies to each other, could again they could allow their children to get married to each other. So Maharaj Pariksit was puzzled about this incident and he inquired about it from Sukadeva Goswami. And Sukadeva Goswami, he's a perfect yogi, so he knew everything. He, he knows the past and he knows the present and the future. He knows all the details. So you cannot hide anything from them. So when Maharaj Parikshit asked Sukadeva Goswami about it, Sukadeva Goswami can answer. All right, so we stop here. Okay, are there any questions? Not really much. Uh, one in ch oh, okay. Where shall we make it? Yes, Vaishnavi. Yes. Yes, Vaishnavi. Have a question? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, my humble obeisance are all glory to Srila Prabhupada. Sorry, Guru Maharaj, I was not able to unmute. Uh, my question is, uh, uh, why Rukmini was silent uh, when they, uh, when Krishna, uh, when Balaram killed uh, the brother the second time? Uh, yes. Because we, we heard that as a result of this great silence, my dear wife, you have purchased me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Rukmini didn't say anything because she knows Balaram is Krishna's older brother. And she doesn't want to say anything to upset 
Balaram, if she says to Balaram, if she gets angry at Balaram for killing his brother, her brother, it will, you know, Balaram, then Krishna may not like it because Balaram is the elder brother of Krish Krishna, so Lord Krishna may be unhappy. Yeah. Anyway, Rukmini is already taken in marriage by Lord Krishna, so she's no longer connected to that family in the Vedic culture. At the time of marriage, she goes to her husband's family, and she's not connected to her father's family anymore. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, but uh, when uh, the parents don't have any son and they have only daughters, uh, um, is it the duty of the uh, daughter to take care of the, their parents and or uh... well not really because not really, the, no. the daughter's given in marriage so the, yeah. the parents they have to somehow manage manage, yeah. manage them yeah. yes Guru Maharaj clear now so I understand that uh, just like uh, Radharani is the best of gopis, is it Rukmini is the best of all his wives? Yes. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Ru Rukmini is the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, and Lord Krishna is Narayan, right? Yeah. So Lakshmi Narayan. Okay. Lord Krishna in the Vaikuntha, he is actually Narayan. Dwarkadish, right? He's Dwarkadish. And his consort, yeah. his consort is Rukmini, who is the goddess yeah. of fortune. fortune. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Dwarak, but the Dwaraka is also different from Vaikuntha, right? There is Lakshmi Narayana, and also in Dwaraka, there is Krishna Rukmini. Uh, yeah. Guru Maharaj, I got a little bit confused. I was thinking that the I don't know. I heard the queens are of Dwaraka are higher than the Laksh goddess of fortune, and the gopis are higher than the queens of Dwaraka. Something like that. Yes, that's true. The Dwaraka is a special section of Vaikuntha. It's a it's a you you know it's a very it's a higher part of Vaikuntha. It's a special yeah, part of Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha. Yeah. Okay. There's Vaikuntha and above Vaikuntha you have Dwarka. But they're connected. Vaikuntha, Dwarka is like, it's very clear, very near to Vaikuntha. Yeah. And, but, yeah. but Goloka Vrindavan, that's far away. That's quite far away. It's quite distance away from Dwarka. Mm, because Go yeah. Vrindavan, Goloka Vrindavan is a very special place, very confidential place. Yeah, yes, Guru Maharaj, I understand now. But in Vaikuntha, Dwarka, Dwarka, that's a place of opulence, right? And in Dwarka, yeah. the rasa there is more, the rasa more is. Uh, Dashara, like servant, right? Yeah. Like a king, servant. Yeah, right, yes. yeah, right. Mm. So Krishna is there and he, he has a, the mood of Dwarkadish. He's a, the lord of Dwarka and everyone mm. there, they're his servants. So the queens are there, all his queens are there. The queens are also serving Krishna. All of the different queens there in Dwarka, they're all Krishna's servants. Yeah, yes, Guru Maharaj. Even when they will be like maidservants, they'll sweep the palace and they'll clean the palace, even though there's no dirt or dust or anything, but still they'll be engaged like that because they think of themselves like that, in that way, as being Krishna's servants. So that's the mood. That's the mood of Vaikuntha or Dwarka. Yeah, Dwarka is a bit special from Vaikuntha. Yeah. 
because in Dwarka, Krishna is there, but in Vaikuntha it's more Vishnu. But in Dwarka it's Krishna, right? Although he's Narayan, yeah. na, it's, it's Vasudev Krishna or na, Narayan, but it's four-armed Krishna, but in Vaikuntha is more Vishnu, different forms of Vishnu. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, Vishnu don't have peacock feather, right, Guru Maharaj? Or I just yeah, well, this. even in Dwarka, Krishna won't usually have peacock feather. In Dwarka, you won't see that Krishna's peacock feather. Oh, okay. Peacock feathers are only in Vrindavan. Mm. And the flute is only in Vrindavan, of course. <laughs> but we, we usually give Krishna peacock feather and flute. Even though we worship Krishna in the mood of Lakshmi Narayan, we worship Krishna with opulence. We, we like to give him a flute and peacock feather. Hmm. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> okay, Vishnu Priya has a question. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Dhanava Pranam, please accept my humble obeisances, offer you through Sila Vakpan. Um, Atanaha. Ha. Ha. Uh, Pikonu Yatam, Guru Maharaj, Tung Kyokuna Masi Devi, ha. He went down, ha. He didn't Baba Kuna Masi Devi, Pin Palangan, he do lay window one, you were laying, ha. He let me come up soon, wa. Uh, Mulla heard a in wa window one, a pen con, but cup, uh, rather than a pen joe con, a laying, ha. Now Kuna Masi Devi, a pen palangan con, do the car, uh, Kuyo Kamaya Lipa, or laying, ha. Uh, her question is regarding uh, uh, Punamasi Devi because she heard that Punamasi uh, Devi is the one who uh, taking care of the Vrindav the situation in Vrindavan or and also she heard that it's Radharani, Vrindavan belongs to Radharani. So she's a little confused about it. Can you please explain? Well, why she tries to understand all of these things? Why doesn't she try to understand what we talk about? You never ask questions on what we read, what we're talking about. You always come up with something which has nothing to do with anything which we talk about. Why don't you ask the people who talk to you about all these things? Where are you hearing about all these things from? Who's talking to you about Purnamasi and Radharani? Who's talking to you about them? อันนี้ให้คุยกับคนที่พี่ได้ยินมาอันนี้พี่ได้ยินมาจากใครอืมอืมพี่จําไม่ได้แล้วค่ะแต่ว่าเหมือนเคยอ่านเจออะไรอย
You read everything written by other people. You don't read what Prabhupada writes. People write so many crazy things on Facebook. And you waste your time, you read it all, and then you come to me and you ask me to make it clear for you. I'm sorry, Guru Maharaj, because I I never to to know much about Punamasi Devi. Well, she's Yoga Maya. She's Krishna's energy. She, she's an old older lady who lives in Vrindavan. And she arranges for the the different marriages of the young people. That's all you need to know. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Padma has a question. Padma? Yeah. yeah, Hare Krishna Gurudev. Please accept my humble obeisance. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Um, this Jambavati son, Chitra Ketu, has he anything Yamaraj Gurudev? What? This Jambavati, Jambavati son, uh -huh. Chitra Ketu, uh -huh. has he something to do with Yamaraj? Uh, yeah. Has he something to do with Yamaraj? Oh, I never had. I don't know anything about it. Okay. You know, many okay. many people may have that name, you know, Chitragetu, just like in the in the Srimad Bhagavatam, you know, it tells about Maharaj Chitraketu. He was a great king and he wanted okay. a son and you know. Maharaj Chitraketu, then he got cursed by Lord Shiva's wife and became Vritasura. Okay. So that was a, that was a different Chitraketu. Okay, good. Just wanted, wanted to know, a bit curious. Mm -hmm. okay. And the other thing also, also one more question, I would tell. This uh, Dwarga Krishna, he also has uh, two soft, soft arms. Yeah, Dwarga Krishna. Vasudev Krishna has four arms. Okay, so Vishnu also has four arms, he also has four arms. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Gurudev. Mm -hmm. all, yeah. the pe all the people in Vaikuntha have four arms. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay, Yuvati Sachi has a question. Uh, yes, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble businesses. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, my question is, uh, sometimes um, I felt sorry for Rukmini Guru Maharaj because I thought that Krishna uh, teased her uh, too much. And uh, I thought, uh, uh, yes, I understand that this is uh, Krishna's lila, of course, but I think Rukmini uh, really suffered. Is that not right? Well... It was Krishna teasing her, joking with her. So the, this, what appears to be suffering it's actually, it, it, it glorifies Rukmini. It shows us what a great devotee she is. 
the, how she tolerates it and how she goes on to glorify Krishna. So, just like Draupadi, you could say Draupadi suffered. You know, they were going to drip, try to strip off her clothes, but it showed her greatness. She's a great devotee because even when she, they were trying to take off her clothes, she prayed to Krishna, she just called to Krishna and Krishna protected her. So she's a great devotee. So the difficulties which a devotee goes through, uh, it allows them to take more shelter of Krishna and it makes them greater, it makes them better devotees. Uh, so like, like, like we're able to appreciate them more. If Krishna had not teased Rukmini, we wouldn't know how great a devotee she is. How, how strong her faith is in Krishna and how much devotion and love she has for Krishna. Okay. Yes, thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for your explanation. And there are some questions in the chat. Yeah, are what? Are they in Chinese? Yes, in Chinese. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, your Gita Radha has a question. Thank you, Gurudev. Please like some humble obeisances, Gurudev. Gurudev, uh, you know the names of uh, uh, all the queens, Lord Krishna's wives? They're so common nowadays, you know, in India, like uh, the name Vijay. One of my good friends, uh, devotee she is in America, her husband's name is Vijay. So we take so many names, Samba, Vijay. I mean, I know so many people with those names, but didn't know that they were actually all Lord Krishna's sons. So Gurudev, even for people, other people, uh, non-devotees or general people, do they benefit in any way when they take the names of the Lord's son, I mean, anything? Do they purify to any extent or something like that? Does it help? Well, only if they think that these, if they know that these are the names of Krishna's sons. <coughs> if they don't know their names of Krishna's sons, then it won't help. <laughs> ของที่เราเรียกกันไปเมื่อกี้เนี้ยชื่อตั้งให้ลูกบ้างอะไรอย่างงี้ถามว่าได้ประโยชน์มั้ยจากการที่ใช้ชื่อพวกเนี้ย
you chant just any name or all these names of Krishna's sons, I don't know how much benefit you'll get. Mm. If you don't know the names of Krishna's sons, then I don't yeah. know how we can help you. Mm. No, I meant even people who didn't know, I mean, you know, so many relatives and friends and people in general, basically. But okay, so it's, it doesn't help people in any way just because they utter the names without knowing it or they may not have that tendency that degree of respect also even if they know it okay good they've understood yeah, just like Thank you. people may say the name of Radha and think she's the barber's wife you know mm, true very true mm, yeah got it good okay. thank you all right so we're going to stop here tonight so thank, yeah, thank Archana very much. We'll keep the questions in the chat. We'll keep them for another time. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much, Archana. Thank all thank the devotees. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Gorbata Vrinda ki jai. Ah.